I am editing this vlog right now and I will start this off by telling you this vlog is a little bit of a hot mess. I have just been not vlogging lately, so I kind of feel like I've lost my rhythm to it. So I would love to hear from you guys like what kind of vlogs you like to watch. Do you like when they like flow together and there's like date stamps on it or day of the week stamps or like what kind of vlogs do you like? Like I feel like mine are just very sporadic and random clips throughout my week that just I wanna vlog about, and that's kind of my style, which isn't super organized or anything, but I'd love to hear what you guys like as far as vlogs, or do you like a vlog centered around a specific thing? Um, let me know, because I feel like I'm a little uninspired today, and my hair needs to be redone, my nails need to be done, I have two nails missing, like I'm just kind of like, it's just one of those days, it's just one of those days. So. Let me know in the comments below so that I can try to like get my shit together. <laughs> Hot date. This looks so good. This is with extra frosting. I wonder what the one without extra frosting looks like because I feel like it just would not cut it. This is the rustic sandwich. This looks so good. That's like double the potatoes I need. Crack and eggs. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so I've got a beach Christmas going back here. I'm gonna pause that. Okay, so it is a couple days or a day before Christmas, Christmas, Thanksgiving now. We uh, invited my parents to come here from Prescott, Arizona for Thanksgiving because we cannot leave the animals right now because I don't have anyone to watch them. And we thought our kitchen was gonna be a little more done than it is right now. So here's the current situation. Our stove was supposed to be here on November 5th. It is not here. Um, it's still stuck on a ship that cannot dock right now. So who knows when that's coming. Um, a lot of our cabinets were missing the faces to them. So they're unable to be put together. Oh, look who just walked in. <laughs> Show me a uh, below the waist. That's more what I want to see. Wow, those take a really long time to get off. <laughs> Why are you so gross? Why are you laughing? I should you know. You tucked it. Nick is freaking amazing and he did so much this morning. He emptied the motor home and moved it down on our property so my parents could park in the driveway and then picked up a $50 stove that I found on next door that we are going to put right over there against the wall so we can cook a little bit for Thanksgiving. At Jenna's house and I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> someone that has more shoes than I do. Like <laughs> by a lot too. Like this room is basically my dream room. Shout out to Ikea for like the best closet organization like ever. Yeah, a lot of it is. Yeah, I used to have these in my loft down in San Diego. They're really cool. I love them. Second outfit of the day. This makes it so much easier for, oh shit, there's a mic in my face, for editing podcasts because when I go through the footage, we are in different outfits, which helps me determine what episode is what. Oh gosh, it gets real hot in here though. I don't know why I never wear little headbands. How cute is that? I freaking love it. Um, Jenna just got us some really cute little, little cookies, holiday cookies and some Starbucks. And once the girls get in here, I'm gonna turn all the lights and we'll get filming. I should have started filming this before I started. This wall was completely empty. But I will film a little bit now. I had all of this skincare kind of just sitting over here, as you can see, and with my perfume. And we're gonna remodel this entire bathroom, so I'm not super concerned with aesthetics right now. It's more like function and less clutter on the counters. So I purchased these on Amazon, and I'm just hanging them up right now and enjoying a protein shake. Um, because I'm pretty much out of everything. I need to go to the grocery store. These two aren't helping much, but at least they're cute little ornaments. 
So what I'm gonna do is I actually just bought a deeper shelf, very similar to these, so that I can fit these thicker items on the shelves. And that will go, I'll have a row, because this is two shelves right here, they're 15 inches each. And then I'll put two of the bigger ones here. And now I'm doing two more up here for the perfume. Like, as you can tell, I'm not trying to go for anything fancy in here right now. It's really more just function since we're redoing this entire bathroom. But let's get the other shelves up. looks good now i can't wait to get those ones off of here but um for now and then these little ones can't go on there either because they're just too fat so the amount of eyelashes that i have everywhere right now like honestly i think i should hang this too i gotta fix the picture in there oh my goodness <laughs> well i forgot my vlog camera yesterday uh because <laughs> i'm new ish back to vlogging but I went to Home Goods with my friend Jenna and got a bunch of good stuff. I got this super cute wrapping paper. This is like a thick boy too, which is nice. Um, Nick lo loves sharks. I don't know what guy doesn't. Uh, so got that. And I'll show you all this maybe one by one as it is placed inside. And then I got actually a bag back there of some Christmas bags, a lot of like rabbit toys, dog toys. So we'll see how they like all those. I have so much to do today and I'm getting my hair done tomorrow and I was shopping all day yesterday. So my week has been like, had a big hole shot through it basically. And then I, Nick's like, he's at work. He's been at work since Tuesday morning and he won't be off till Saturday morning. But he's like, they're doing Christmas uh, lighting or tree lighting or something downtown um, Oceanside. Uh, we're all gonna go if you want to go and I'm like yes I would absolutely love to go I've experienced no Christmas stuff lately at all like we don't even have a tree in our house right now and I'm just like I'd love to go but I just have so much to do it's crazy so I'm gonna try and hustle so I can get all the stuff inside set up hung up on the wall etc so that maybe I can film a video before I leave but I don't know if that's gonna happen it's already 3 30 oh geez I really like this plant too. Um, I think this is called a monstera. I could be wrong. Maybe you guys can correct me, but I really like this. This was kind of pricey and it kind of bugs me that that is not in the middle, but I'll put this towards the back wall like that so it's not as obvious. This was 50 doll hairs. Did you seriously already find the treat that I bought for you in this bag? Oh, <laughs> Give it to me, I'll get it out for you. Just got my hair done and left and I'm about to go to the lady in San Marcos that Brooklyn used to go to for her ultrasounds. I haven't had an ultrasound in a while and I didn't have the best experience at the last place I went. I think I talked to you guys about it. Uh, maybe I did, I can't remember. Um, as usual it's like the new thing i can't remember anything so we're i'm gonna go in there to um to have an ultrasound i just want to see what's going on in there and see how the baby's measuring and everything so i thought it'd be fun to do that oh, this guy on a bike is running a red light oh my goodness um to do that before i don't remember even what i was saying dude i my brain sorry for the views there what are you doing? Stay in your lane, fucker. Um, I don't know what I was trying to say before what, I don't know. But um, <laughs> I'm fucking losing it here. I'm tired, I'm hungry. We're gonna go film a podcast um, after this because uh, it's my birthday podcast. My birthday um, is on December 12th. I don't know if you'll be seeing this before or after. But yes, uh, Brooklyn's been raving about this lady so I'm excited to see how the baby's measuring and everything and all that good stuff. So I'll bring you guys with me. Bye.
I've got average ultrasound age, 18 weeks, one day with a fifth. So okay. head and abdomen measure 18 weeks, one day, and her leg measures 18 weeks, two days. She weighs him. Is, is he tall? He, no, he's wanted her to be born on Cinco de Mayo because he wants to be Mexican so bad. And he's like, bye bye. He's going to be, be ecstatic. so excited. <laughs> I get a lot of makeup in the mail, but you know one thing that I don't get in the mail a lot is candles, and I'm pretty stoked that I got sent these candles. Also, I wanted to show you, these are from Alchemy Noir, and um, they have like little like dried stuff in there, which I think is so cute, and a couple of these actually have little, um, let's see if I can find one that has it, little, little, what is this called? Whatever this is. Like, how cute is that? Just sitting in there. These smell really good. One of these smells like um, patchouli, and I'm gonna bring it to my dad's house because he loves that musky scent. It's a little too musky for me. Um, and this one's a little too sweet for me, but this one smells really, really good. Uh, Krampus, I mean, everyone has different tastes. Mine, I like clean, like cigar lounge smell, or like, I just, I don't like anything sweet. All done. Rearranged it a little bit. Stocked up their little cups again. Gave them some fresh hay, greens. I'm gonna do the water right now. They love to explore it after I like change it up a little bit. <laughs> I am eating a hard boiled egg and having a nutri nutri nutrition nutrition. <laughs> A protein shake. This is the Lonnie New protein shake. These are so good. I am about to get on a call in a little bit here with a um, doctor. I'm kind of exploring what I'm interested in doing for childbirth. I have considered a home birth. However, I just... Dating a firefighter paramedic, he sees a lot of births gone wrong. He's delivered a lot of babies and he's just not super comfortable with the fact that we live so far from a hospital and I'm not super comfortable with that fact either because say if something went wrong and it could have been treated if I was at a hospital and it couldn't and resulted in something awful, I don't think I could ever forgive myself. So that small chance that that could happen is making me feel like I would rather just give birth in a hospital. Then I've also considered a birthing center, but I definitely have more of a natural, like I want to have more of a natural approach to it. And I definitely have a lot more research to do, which is one reason for this call. But this person that I found, she is not only a doctor, but she's also a midwife. So for me, midwives have always been a little too like hippy dippy. Uh, that's just how I feel. Um, and this, that's just me. But I love that she is also a doctor. She's a naturopathic doctor and if you've kind of watched some of my videos about like testosterone and all that when mine was very low, I think that there's a time and a place for Western medicine, but I personally prefer a natural approach. I'd rather do natural things that I can do first and change my diet and things like that as opposed to just taking a medication to fix something. So um, I watched, uh, my ex-husband Ryan suggested that I watch the documentary, um, The Business of Being Born, which I did. I watched it with Nick and he said he thought that coming from, you know, someone in the medical field, uh, he thought that it was like pretty biased, but he does see where they're coming from a lot of times. So anyways, I was pretty excited to find a doctor that is a naturopathic doctor, but also a midwife. So because midwives are not doctors. So I just love that she's got that mix that I, I'm looking for and that I love. So we'll see. I consider it a birthing center as well. I would really like to give birth in a pool, in a like a little pool, like squatting. That just seems the most natural to me and for the baby. Being born out of water, water into water, just seems to make sense. Like, where would you want to go if you wanted to go to a birth center? Right. And 
that he wants to do homework, then, then certainly we can continue the conversation. But I do want to be clear that we only do homework. We don't do first time birth. The next time you see me, and I ha I'm gonna have colored hair. Brooklyn might be pregnant again. Ah! No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, say goodbye to this hair. It's sad because it's it is like the perfect platinum, but we are about to color it. Pink or blue? Pink or blue? We're mixing in the back to see like what shades we like. I also found fruit snack. Yeah. Here is the finished look. It looks so good. I think this is gonna fade super, super well too. It was definitely a lot vib more vibrant than I expected, but I think it's gonna fade really nicely. I'm driving home right now, and uh, we're gonna see what Nick thinks. <laughs> uh, he said he would love me any way I came, but I know that Nick prefers me as a blonde, and every woman as a blonde. <laughs> so let's see what he thinks about this. Um, like I said, it's a lot brighter than I expected it to be, so I have a feeling it's going to be a lot brighter than he expected it to be also. It's so pink, huh? Pinky! I like it. Do you really like it? It's a lot brighter than I expected it to be. It'll tone down when I wash it, but. Yeah, I love it, looks good. Nick and I are getting ready to take off for one of his friend's um, Christmas parties. We're gonna play the white elephant game and it is an ugly Christmas sweater party. So <laughs> mine says shitter's full. It's very like unflattering though, you know what I mean? Like I had to put on some, like I didn't know what shoes to wear because the sweater itself is just so like not, Cute, and then now I have pink hair with red, which I'm not a fan of, but look at this handsome specimen. Wait, wait, let's see your sweater. Give me a little fashion show walk just towards me, like a few steps, yeah, go. <laughs> Tire banks would kick your ass out so fast. It is my birthday. Um, I'm doing bed recording now, huh? Yeah. Um. I'm looking really sexy this morning. I need to, we're, uh, Nick made me a double espresso and it actually has caffeine in it, so getting pretty excited. <laughs> um, he's over here playing June's Journey. We actually need a couple more members in our team, so if you play June's Journey, look up uh, Kristen Leanne's Lounge. I think we need like two or three more people. We are a competitive group though, so if you are more of a relaxed player, don't join. I also, felt the baby kick for the first time this morning. It's funny because I'm like literally 19 weeks today and I felt it twice this morning and I know it wasn't gas bubbles. Um, I actually like felt it with my hand and from inside. And supposedly you're not supposed to be able to feel it with your hand and your partner can't feel it with your hand right now, but I definitely <laughs> felt it with my hand and inside my body. So that was pretty exciting. I felt, I felt one just now too on me. You're gonna fart, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this mirror is so dusty. This is my little brunch outfit. And I think we're finally starting to look a little pregnant. <laughs> if I don't suck in, I look very pregnant. <laughs> so I'm just gonna not suck in and leave it like that. So here we are. This Oh my gosh, this mirror is so dusty. Holy heck, but yeah. Take it off to brunch and we'll come back and get ready for the rest of the day. We just took some really good photos back here in the vineyard behind our house, so that was kind of cool. Come on. Taking the Range Rover off roading. <laughs> Holy heck. It is crazy out here. I probably should not stand under palm trees right now. It is insane. This does not look like San Diego. It is so windy. Everything is knocking over. Okay, so it was so stormy here yesterday and look at it today. 
it is gorgeous today. This view just nourishes my soul. Like, ugh. I want to rip out all these plants and build like a beautiful like barbie built-in barbecue area over there and then a fireplace because if you stand over here you can see into my neighbor's yard right over there which is funny because we're on little acreage <laughs> but um you can still see into their yard right there so i was thinking maybe like a fireplace like a built-up cool like fireplace outside and then off the edge of this i want to do like a matte black storage container with like a roll-up door so nick can use it as a yoga studio he loves doing yoga i fucking hate yoga but he loves it so um what baby wants baby gets <laughs> so and then i figured we could use it as like a bar like so entertaining kind of this area i want to do some grass over here too for the the child the animals and then we can turn that into like a bar um area where the bartender stands inside and like serves drinks through the roll-up door when we entertain i finally got covers for over there as you can see one of my benches is not covered up because i got the wrong size it was only like two an inch too short for that one also i got these on amazon and they were quite affordable that's actually a round table cover and i just got it for the round fire pit but i really like these so i'll link you guys to them if you guys have any needs for any covers of any kind but it just seems like that extra step that you don't want to pay for but when you spend money on the furniture like why not protect it so i also like that this has like some a screen in here so your furniture doesn't get like moldy back to me in my house robe <laughs> it is such a beautiful day today you can see the sun shining kind of into the house it feels really good considering we had some rain and gloom for about two weeks that was rough um i did vlog a little bit over christmas and stuff and i decided that i didn't want to include it because it was um a very hard time for me uh i saw a dog get hit on the highway which I loaded into my car, rushed to the vet after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars of vet bills. She unfortunately passed away. And um, then I just had my bearded dragon Lucy pass away, which I brought to my parents' house in Prescott with us for the holidays. And so the holidays were just really, unfortunately, very sad for me. And I was just kind of crying on and off. And I just decided that I didn't want to include that. So, I'm gonna pick back up the vlogging uh, after I read some of your comments to kind of see like what you guys are liking and if there are certain people that vlog. Of course, my camera died. <laughs> like, I really hope that's not like an example or a foreshadowing of how this year is gonna be. I don't think so. Uh, so if the, I was saying, if there are people who you really like, like their vlog style or just their vibe in general, I could use some inspiration of sorts. So feel free to link them, tag them, whatever in the comments and let me know. And I will be sure to check it out. I also wanted to say that my uh, podcast with my friends, Jenna and Brooklyn, who you saw in this vlog, we actually moved over to our very own YouTube channel. So for this channel, I'm gonna be uploading two of my very own videos every single week instead of a podcast and one of my videos. So I need to get going on some content. So if you have any requests or ideas or pregnancy stuff that you wanna see, maternity stuff, just anything in general, hair, makeup, let me know below. Like I said, I'm kinda of having one of those days and could really use a little bit of inspiration and I feel like I can always trust you guys for that. I did also want to say that um, I hope you guys are having a great start to 2022 and it's going really well for you. If it's not, don't worry, it's not a foreshadowing of the year. Like when my battery just died, it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Things will always get better. Um, keep your head up and set your goals. And if you need a little inspiration in that arena, check out our latest podcast that came out today as well. We will see you in the next one. Bye guys.